ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to OWF Worldwide Wrestling. I'm your host, Broadcast Bob Anderson, and please be sure to like and subscribe to us here on YouTube, the Retro Wrestling Network, so every week you can catch the new episodes of OWF Worldwide, you can catch our Retro Wrestling Recall, and you can catch all the other great stuff we're putting up every week. Now, please join me in welcoming Mr. Whitey Jenkins. What's up, Bobby? What a week we had last week. The huge announcement that the Royal Rumble's coming. We announced a big championship match. We had three great matches, including that big battle royal that capped off the show. How in the world can we follow that up this week? Well, like you said, it was a huge week. Uh, the Rural Rumble is coming, and I personally can't wait to be a part of that. Our first mediocre live event. Uh, I do understand we will have some more announcements for that later on today. Uh, but this week, we have two two big matches. Uh, we have some women's action, which has been requested very heavily by the fans. Uh, we're going to open the show with that. Coming to us from the county fair up in Blue Earth, Minnesota. Uh, Northern Star Elite is the name of the promotion, and they're going to give us U.S. Amy as she takes on Haley, and that's H-A-Y-L-E-Y Haley. And as I understand, these are two of the top ladies up there in that part of the country, and they're going to go to war right here today on OWF Worldwide. Well, there's nothing I like better than seeing two ladies go at it, so let's check that out here in just a moment. But what else we got to look forward to? Then in the main event, we're going back to the Home Wrestling Network uh, tonight there in Big Beaver, Pennsylvania. And we're going to see OWF fan favorite, the Revolting Punisher. He's coming back. Uh, he made such an impression last time that we just, I mean, the, the, the fans poured in saying, please, please bring back the Revolting Punisher. We love that man. We want to see him again. Uh, and he's taking on two people that are unknown to us. Uh, they're, they're new New to OWF, uh, we have Original Cassidy. Um, I don't know a lot about him. I understand that his gimmick is something that we've never seen before, something completely new. So I'm, I'm interested in seeing that. And then the opponent is even more of a mystery. All I know is he is called... Eh? And they told me that I may not understand it now, but once we see him, it will make perfect sense. Feels like it might be some kind of Tim Allen gimmick or something, but... Uh... Yeah. You know, I'm excited to see this original Cassidy because, you know, in OWF, we're all about originality and doing things for the first time and not rehashing things. So, exactly. That should be good. So, and of yes, course, is... who doesn't love the revolting Punisher? I, I mean, mean he he's, is... he's big, he's bad, he's got the moves, you know, he drives the ladies wild and he gets to gyrating in there. He's hard hitting. Uh, he's got it all, man. He may be the most well-rounded, no pun intended, uh, wrestler here in the OWF. Yes, he may, to take some words out of good old JR's mouth, he may be the best pure athlete in the OWF. That's fair. Very fair. So, like I said, it's it's two big matches here this evening. Uh, I know we gave you three last week, but this, this triple threat promises to be a barn burner, and it, it could take all night. So, let's... Let's enough talking from us. Let's head down to see the ladies, and then we'll see that monster triple threat match. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right, folks, here we are. Northern Star Elite from the county fair in Blue Earth, Minnesota. Coming to the ring with her replica women's championship is U.S. Amy. That's right. She bought that over there at one of those stands uh, about 10 minutes before this match took place because had she got it sooner, that belt would be on the line. But, you know. And her opponent tonight is Haley. That's H-A-Y-L-E-Y. -E Not sure where she came up with that spelling, but if you think real hard, you can probably figure it out. But anyway, uh, these two women are main eventing this show here at the county fair, and this should be a good one, Whitey Jenkins. Oh, yeah, it's always good when we get uh, some women's action here on OWF. It don't, don't happen uh, near often enough, according to the fans and the viewers, but here we are. We got, oh, mom, she's trying to steal her replica belt. This is going to make, oh, my goodness. I mean, make she got that in, even more heated. I mean, she got that on sale for $79.99 because one of the side plates is scratched. 
So she's not going to be happy if that girl tries to steal it. And I have it on good authority that she has Molly Holly's signature on the back of that, so she don't want nobody jacking oh. around with it. That is worth far more than the seventy nine ninety nine she paid then. Well, it's suspect. Let's just say that. You know what I mean? It, it, let's just uh, say that the... it has Molly Holly's name written on the back of it. Right? <laughs> I got gotcha. sure. It hasn't been authenticated. Gotcha. It is not JSA certified, folks. Absolutely. All right. Oh, yeah, that's true. The loser of this match actually has to go and dress as Abraham Lincoln. All right, See, here we go, that's folks. A fun fact, and and as, add the bonus. I didn't mean to cut you off here, but you can win by pinfall, submission, or by throwing your opponent in that dumpster that you see in the background back there. Oh my goodness! All right, we've got a test of strength lock up here. That's that's new. Uh, Amy drives Haley down to her knees. They're getting right to it. I mean, when you go right into the test of strength from the go, oh. you know these these gals mean business. Driving her right to the midsection, throws her into the ropes. Oh, big clothesline, clothesline right to the stomach. Oh. And she's stomping away. She calls that the morning after right there. Oh, my goodness. Whitey Jenkins. <laughs> also known as Plan B in some promotions. All right, then. Got her picked up by the hair. Gives her a moment to adjust her shirt. Oh, she's talking trash. Oh, yeah, big punch to the gut. A lot of trash. She's like, I'm going to take your belt. I'm going to wipe that signature right off the back of it. All right, she takes her over and says, oh, no, you're not. That's my belt. All right, she rolls over to her stomach to get out of that. Um, jockeying for lady position, that's what's happening. Lady with a stroller going by in the background. Well, now right. she's just running hey. from her. I can't believe Haley's just running away. Haley bails to the floor. Now she's still talking more trash. All the fans in attendance are just... Wrapped in wrapped with anticipation of what's coming next. Oh, look, that little kid over there. there. Yeah. Haley should probably go and hit him. You're not Bailey. Oh, whoa. Get that, one little mat. Right <laughs> get that one little mat out on the ringside there. You better <laughs> hope if you get thrown down, you get thrown down yeah. in that specific spot. They may as well just write dives happen here right on that. <laughs> All right. Big headlock applied. She managed to break out of it. Somehow. All right. For some reason, Amy is just oh. chatting with the crowd. Oh, and she gets taken down. Oh, back to plan B. I think she was asking about the front row. Her. Like, are the corn dogs ready yet over there at the stand? <laughs> uh oh, look at that maneuver. Oh, that was some lucha pinning right there. The referee almost there to check on it. Maybe. She was making very sure that her shoulders were down before she was even going to think of making a count. Referee She's Shelley Jones is the senior, senior official here. Yeah, she's she's very by the book, you gotta say. Oh, Amy her fires awesome. her into the ropes. Duck. Ducks the clothesline. Oh! Look at this. What a Quite slam. A I wasn't expecting that. All right. Takes several seconds to roll her into a big pin. And it's all over. That's it. All right. I don't well, know if her shoulder was down, but, you know... <laughs> We'll There's that match. women's action you've been asking for. Yeah, so you get what you ask for. So remember that next time before you start in. All right. Your winner and still the Molly Holly replica champion, U.S. Amy. All right. She's going to go enjoy a corn dog while Haley goes and dresses as Abraham Lincoln. That'll be on her Instagram later and the further... Photos with just only the hat and beard will be on her Patreon. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another OWF Rural Rumble report. As you may recall, last week we announced the OWF Multicultural International X Division Middleweight title television title match between the Bone Collector and Wild Side Sebastian Lee Roth. Tonight, we're here to announce the first competitors that will take part in the Rural Rumble. First, we have Crazy Pete Wiggins. Joining him will be Chad Hottington III. And finally, not one but two men, members of the tag team known as the Great Scots, Billy and Barry McAllister. Those are just four of the 13 men that will compete in the inaugural Rural Rumble. 
We'll be back next week with more about our first mediocre live event. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. They taught us how to love. They taught us how to live. And now they're back. Monster Ballads. 35 powerful hits on two CDs and two cassettes. It's awesome! White Snake. Mr. Big. more about passion than the legendary artists of Monster Ballads. When I see you smile, the is on the way. This 35-track collection is not sold in stores. Rush delivery available. Every bad boy has a soft side. Get Monster Ballad. All right, folks, here we are from the Home Wrestling Network in Big Beaver, Pennsylvania. Here is Original Cassidy. Look at that, chomping on his pizza coming down there without a care in the world. He's just taking a casual stroll down to the ring. It's a completely original gimmick, Whitey Jenkins. All right, half-eaten piece of pizza at ringside. Seems like plenty of an indie show I was on. Yeah. All right. I mean, uh... All right, who do we have coming next? Oh, look at this. That's some big budget entrance right there. Sm Smokey must have found a new filter for the camera. Yeah, there's a 30-day uh, free trial with some new software he's trying out. I see. And oh, my God. This is apparently... Eh? I don't even, I'm not even sure I can pronounce that, but... What... Why are those tassels over his? And there's crap. Okay, he's clearly a plumber in his other day job. But yes, I I am being told that this is in fact, eh? and he is here to wrestle. That name uh, suits him somehow, honestly. So then that makes this the OWF fan favorite, one of the most requested wrestlers to return to this show that we've had in some time, ladies and gentlemen. It is him, the Revolting Punisher. Oh my gosh. You, you slipped this one in on me. I didn't know we were getting to see the Revolt. Look, got the smoke show. Oh, oh yeah. Goodness. He's, he's working it for the, for the crowd. They love this guy. I mean, yes, since his first appearance here, we have gotten cards, letters, messages on our MySpace page. People want to see the Punisher. Well, Look at that, uh, man. Inside info, producer Smokey, a.k.a. Commissioner Smokey, is trying to get together an OWF fan fest, and this is going to be the star of the show. <coughs> this is, in fact, the main event of the Yardcade kickoff show by the Home Wrestling Network, and it should be quite, quite, quite the show with these three gentlemen. All I right, can't believe we've got the revolting Punisher back here on ODF. We've been trying to get him signed for weeks. 
Oh, no, no. All right, uh-oh. Uh-oh, what are they doing to... Uh-huh. Oh, they've they torn the, the titty tassel tassels right, right off. Well, those nipples cool. are going to be burning the rest of this match. Oh, they're, All right, they're, oh. They're double, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no. my goodness. I don't well, know I'm not calling that. show this on the, on the Retro Wrestling Network. We might get kicked off the air. Fired him into the ropes. Oh, big double clothesline. And eh, rolls to the outside. Oh, oh look at your vaulting punisher coming behind on original Cassidy. OG, if you will. Oh, takes him Don't over with quite a is. suplex. I mean, the Punisher is obviously the most technical wrestler in this match. Oh, without oh a doubt. takes him down with a big kick. Referee Sean Jackson looking on in awe at these three tremendous athletes. Oh, Cassidy well, is back to eating his pizza. Yeah, he's going to finish his pizza, so he's got plenty of energy. Let me ask you this. You know, recently we saw the debut of Roidenstein. Can you imagine oh my goodness. Punisher taking on Roidenstein? Uh, that would be a main event anywhere in the world, Whitey Jenkins. Oh, oh. he comes in and hits him with a big kick. Oh, please. Put oh, 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 look at these. Look at these windmill chops. Flailing. And- this is a good time to remind everyone not to do crack. Oh, and another big chop. Yeah, this is the uh, say no to drugs portion of OWF this week. Sponsored by Nancy Reagan. Oh, my goodness. These chops are just brutal. Oh, and a three-way oh, chop drops. battle has ensued. <clears throat> oh, well, the Punisher is obviously the powerhouse of this match as well. Oh, what's he? Oh, my goodness. Look I mean, at this. nobody Ref- knows the identity of Revolting Punisher, but I hear rumor that he used to be uh, the UFC fighter in his oh, days. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Drops OGC all the way right down. One. Right down. Running oh. knee. He nearly destroyed him. Cassidy may not be long for this one. This is an elimination match, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of those stupid WWE three ways where one guy gets pinned and the match is over. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. Eh? going to the top rope. Well, first rope. Is the top rope. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh, oh, oh. Turn that to a, well, into a cover. And that is it. I believe eh? has been eliminated. No, two, because OGC's dumbass broke up the pin. Why would you break up the pin oh. in an elimination match, you goof? Uh, that does not make a lot of sense. I I do stand corrected. He is not eliminated. Yeah, the right, referee Cassidy. held up two because Oh, Cassidy's Rich getting his Cassidy. hat back. Oh, and oh, this is a completely original maneuver. No, we've never seen this before. This is quite unorthodox, if you will. Right. I I this is some definite uh original originalness. Oh, big kick to the head. Than it was to punish her. Oh. oh, he ducks that. And the big roll up. And a kick out. All right, now he's trying to figure out how to maybe. He don't know if he wants to pin him or put him in a leg lock. Uh, this reminds me of later years Kamala. Yeah, exactly. We need Slick down here to tell him what he needs to do in this situation. Oh, oh and he whips him into the corner. Both opponents are in the corner now. What's he going to be? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. This is unfortunate. <laughs> Cassidy is what you get for being a goof and breaking up a pin in a three way. Still got his sunglasses on, though. I bet he wish he had a mouth guard. All right, big elbow right to the back. Is that going to be it? Two. No. No, big kick out from Cassidy. This is some amazing action, Whitey Jenkins. We've never seen such action here on Worldwide, right? Look at them punches. He's just beating his head in. He's going to have a concussion after this if he ain't lucky. He may end up as part of the Outlaw Fighting Championship. Oh, big avalanche. And he falls right to the outside because that's the way momentum works. He's going to go get some more pizza, I believe. Oh, I think he just threw the crust out to the crowd. <laughs> ah, some idiot Uh-oh. will keep it. Are we going to see a die? Are we, are we going to see a die from Revolting Punishment? Here it comes. Oh, dear God. Uh, nope, maybe not. Good. I thought we were going to see one of them planches. It could well happen. 
All right. He, he looks his, his sweatpants are going to be even dirtier than they were when he came in, if you can believe that. Oh, right into the post. Oh, got mud in his crack. <laughs> A little more mud than he had when he came in, just like, just like on the outside. Oh, dear. All right. We've got Cassidy and the Punisher. Oh, <laughs> look at that close line. That connected flush. <laughs> Without an ounce of momentum, and it still laid him out. Oh, look at those punches. We may have to move the Punisher over to the Outlaw Fighting Championship after this match. We might. He's a he's a cheater, man. He's punching and choking. And... Oh, big kick to the midsection. Well, oh, now is this going to be his big... Oh, what a choke slam. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me oh, of those choke slams 4 one used three. to give. And it's over. <laughs> yes. I wish we could get him back here to OWF. I miss four one one. All right, well, he's Cassidy's getting his dance in now. He's he's happy. He got his win. He eliminated Cassidy. He's feeling it. Oh, look at that! Something for the ladies, real quick. My goodness, was I lied to again? Was this not an elimination match? I don't think it was. I think this was a single fall event. Well, I've been said all kinds of incorrect information. Well, then, ladies and gentlemen, you're a winisher. Or you're a winner, my goodness. Is the you're remotion- winisher the punisher. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this week's episode of OWF Worldwide. And would you look at that specimen right there? The revolting punisher. <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs>